Dr. Thomas Douglas with Carolina Urology Partners. Doctor, thank you very much. Can you hear me okay? I can, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, that's, that's good. Uh, okay. Let me just dive right in here. Senator Tillis said he didn't have any signs or symptoms. Um, so what, what might be typical signs or symptoms that, that a man should look out for? That's typically how it presents. Uh, the most common presentation is an elevation of the prostate specific antigen blood test. <clears throat> most of the time uh, we find cancers using that blood test. Almost <clears throat> never do the patients have symptoms uh, if they do have symptoms, they're usually not related to cancer. They're related to enlarged prostate or benign prostate issues. Rarely we'll find cancers on a rectal exam, but uh, I would say the vast majority, 98% plus, are found by an elevated PSA. So this goes to the importance of going to see the doctor for that annual physical on a yearly basis. No matter how uncomfortable it might be, it's got to be done. That's right, and it's there's been a lot of debate because in the last 10 years there's been a drop off in screening. Um, there was a move about 10 years ago to um, back off on screening due to unnecessary biopsies and unnecessary anxiety produced by finding cancers. Um, so there's a change in the guidelines, but we still recommend, most urologists would recommend men between the ages of 55 and 70 to get an annual PSA. Anybody with a family history or uh, high risk, uh, you know, history of BRCA2 or Lynch syndrome would start their screening at an earlier age, uh, especially family history, father, uncles would start at around, you know, late 40s or 50. The recommendation is after age 70, um, that it'd be a decision the doctor makes. And if you have a life expectancy of less than 10 years to stop screening. So for people who are diagnosed with prostate cancer, what might be a, a typical treatment. And I guess it really depends on how early you catch it. It depends. Most of the cancers we detect are early. Uh, the, the treatment comes down to patient preference and patient age and patient's desires. Typically a younger patient, um, and I don't know Dr. or uh, Senator Tillis's case, so I'm not gonna speak to his specifically, but a patient who's 60 years old in good health with good longevity, we would oftentimes recommend surgery um, if, if that's what they wanted to do. Uh, the surgery typically these days is done with robotics, probably 90% plus are done that way. We still do them open. Uh, I still do open radical prostatectomy, but we have uh, you know physicians all through the city that do robotics and a uh, very short hospital stay, you know, one day with a robot, two days with an open um, and very high uh, cure rates or very high cancer control rates.